When it comes to identifying whether or not you have COVID-19, your smartwatch might be the key to earlier detection of the virus. Researchers at Duke University are analyzing some data that shows it most likely can. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us now with that story. Right now, researchers at Duke University are seeing if certain changes in a person's heart rate or even sleep schedule could be an early sign of COVID-19. They believe our smartwatches could help compensate for some of the shortcomings with COVID testing and early detection. People wear smartwatches to help monitor workouts or count calories, but what if it could also sense when you're getting sick? We had seen that other infections were detectable with smartwatches. The idea that we could use this to detect COVID became pretty obvious. Researchers at Duke University are studying whether data gathered on a smartwatch could detect COVID-19 before showing symptoms. It's called Covidentify. Jessie Lynn Dunn, assistant professor at Duke University, is leading the study. She says so far out of the 7,500 people participating, about 90 people got COVID. So for those who did wear the watch during the infection, we see what we expect. We see an increase in heart rate. We see a decrease in physical activity, increase in sleep disturbances. The beauty of the smartwatch is that it can actually detect a lot of these things before you yourself might be able to. As the Delta variant takes hold in North Carolina, this could be a game changer. The study now looking for more people to learn more about the highly contagious strain. The hope is that you'll soon get a warning on your wrist telling you, Hey, um, it looks like something might be going on today. It might be a good idea to go and get a test. Potentially slowing the spread of COVID-19. One of the other crucial elements to this study is getting wearable devices into underserved communities. Dunn says they've made a push to get underserved communities involved to make sure the data doesn't have disparities. And again, they are looking for more people to participate in this study as COVID cases are starting to rise. You can find that information on how to sign up on WCNC.com and on our mobile app. Reporting in studio for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.